morning guys welcome to today's video today is not Ellie that's in trouble it is the kitten she plays with toilet paper no matter what we do she finds it I wake up in the morning and it's all over the place so I wanted to share a little bit of that with you because usually it's Ellie causing trouble we are starting our day off strong I already have it's like 10 a.m. and I already have dinner ready so if you're wondering this is Shepherd's pie and this is Sam and Sophie and Laura's side and this is Gabby's side. Gabby eats different than all of us. She does not like cheese. She loves chocolate. She, we, I always am altering things so that she eats the same stuff as I do. She likes what we like. She just likes it a little bit different. And Sophie is already making TikTok cookies. She found this recipe on TikTok. I'm telling you, it's the best chocolate chip recipe I've ever seen in my life. She says she doesn't like them, but it's hard and crispy on the outside. Not hard, but like a bit harder on the outside and then the inside is pure lava i don't even know how she does it they're but really gooey they're gooey chocolatey in the inside but not undercooked and then they're crispy on the outside i'll show you when they're done oh, fantastic all of us freaked out when she made them last time okay so these are sophie's cookies they don't look as good as they were the other day but see how they're kind of crispy and then on the inside they're nice and chocolatey and look soft do you guys see how they're soft in the middle oh my gosh so good oh it's getting colder out it is gonna get really cold last night we were supposed to have this big huge ice storm and we did but it didn't Why amount to anything <laughs> we just came running out you guys stop going to look at this chicken <laughs> is insane this chicken is the one that killed <laughs> <laughs> that killed her baby <laughs> And so we had to take her babies away and now she's acting crazy and she killed a chicken today. She literally suffocated a chicken. A chicken was laying an egg and she went and laid on the nest on top of the chicken and the chicken suffocated. I can't even make this stuff up. Like, it's crazy that that happened. Red. Oh! Really? This chi this rooster hates <laughs> my dog. Don't even. It's not his fault, it's all her fault. But at Ellie, Ellie, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> that chicken is bad too. Well, welcome to Sam's laboratory. <laughs> wow. Well, that's the box that we need. This is the box that we need. So we need a bigger box for the chickens, for the baby chicks. So here, you hold my dog. Okay. I'm gonna get attacked now. <laughs> Sorry. You. Literally, I can't believe that thing. That Ooh, that. We should go fishing. We can't go fishing. It's winter. Yeah. Anyway. Lisa, oh, you're oh, I have to put you guys down. I swear to God, we just found a MacBook. It looks really old. Sophie wants to check it out though. We've actually been called hoarders, animal hoarders, by haters, by actual haters, like people who are just out to like make us look bad for their own benefit. And it could not be further from the truth because Laura is not a is not a Laura is not a hoarder under any circumstances. I'm like very careful about what I buy, and I'm very careful about don't attack her. what animals we have because I don't want to be overwhelmed. Like I, is it? Wow! You right. silky. <laughs> the silky She's yelling at your dog. Yeah, the silkies who are like the calmest chickens ever are literally trying to attack the the mom is trying to attack my Oh no, I'm taking this in. Yeah, let's take it in. Anyways, so the, my whole point is Sam is a hoarder. <laughs> Sam really is a hoarder. Like you name it, he keeps it. Like I just found an iPad back there. Completely smashed to bits. Oh he kept it. Yeah, why? And this is a perfect example. Like, this is his storage room of nothing. <laughs> like, oh, that silky is a brat. We don't need any of that stuff. But right, we need the fishing stuff. Well, yeah, and there's I some love hoses. Fishing, guys. Yeah. I would spend three whole days out fishing. So uh, that is Sam's hoarder closet. He would probably disagree with me, but I'm a thrower awayer and he's a keeper. Yeah, I'm a keeper. Sylvie's a keeper I and keep Gabby it. is a keep nothing. Gabby doesn't, she doesn't keep care about anything. Gabby doesn't care about anything. Like Ellie, she, get on the deck. she get has on the a court. very simple, easy life. Here, did you get the cat food out of the truck? No. Okay, here, take this in. <laughs> See, the rooster spotted us every single morning. Ellie and the rooster have it out. Today, ow. 
we found the chickens chasing our neighbors. <laughs> yep. All right. Dog food. And kitten food. And then we have chicken food. So we finally were able to find a bigger bucket for the babies. So I'm going to show you guys. There they are. It's dark in here. So they have a lot more space to run. I have to clean their heater. It doesn't matter how often I clean it. They just climb up there and poop. They like to jump up there. <laughs> but anyway, you can see the roosters there. <laughs> so we have, I think, eight in here and two outside and two more hatching. I think we're going to end up with 13 altogether and there were 18 eggs to begin with. But some of them weren't good. But anyway, they have more room to run and play. This is their home until they're big enough, a little bit bigger, and they can go out into the brooder with a heat with a heater. That is our little brood. I have to keep this cover on it. I can like keep it so that it's open a little tiny bit so they can get air and sunlight. And when we're in the room, we take it off. But somebody, somebody likes to try and eat them. Well, she likes to try and jump in at them. So we have to try and keep it covered. So who is still missing? Today's the third day that she hasn't posted. Ellie, For sure her phone has died. We're just putting chickens to bed. Come on, you little chicken. And while some people don't understand it's that so when easy. you see messages from the same person every day over the long period of time, you get to a good feel for them. You get an idea of like, there's somebody that you can relate to or if there's someone who's kind of sketchy or if they are someone that you believe in and I believe in Hoot. And honestly, I think that every single person that knows her, there's spider webs in our chicken coop. I think everyone who knows her and has had like an opportunity to see her comments all the time they have all pretty much got the same feeling for this lady. Anyway, there's not a lot more that we can do. I've tried the hardest. I've tried my hardest to try and figure out how to help her. We don't have any information to go on. We don't have any information to go on. We don't even know her name. If you hear chicken scream, so I think she said she lives. Anyways, all we can do now is pray. So now, if you guys are praying people, pray because it's been over a week that sh since she fell and it's been almost the end of the third day it's the end of the third day since she's messaged us so keep her in your prayers guys look how spooky our barn looks at night <laughs> so, <laughs> look at this this shadow on our chicken coop sophie says it looks like she's sticking up her finger Middle fingers, but no, it's just a bottle. <laughs> it's just a bottle. So every night we do this thing where we all finish. Like once we get finished, we try and beat Gabby. We race. Shh, shut up. Why are the lights off in here? Because Gabby does chores in the dark. It's the weirdest thing. She likes the spooky barn. A pen. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, Abby. So we usually. Go out that door. It's go out the other one. You gotta go back around. I have to go out this one so the goat can. I can let the duck and the goose in. You gotta close the door. Yeah, Mom. We will close the door. You better close the door, Mom. Come on, Ellie. Nothing worse than when. Okay, Ruby, go. We're not taking you. Yeah, Ruby, you're just the devil. Stay. Stay. Stay with Gabby. Uh oh. This door doesn't work. You've never seen a dog. We'll, cut, we'll make sure we fix it. Full speed down a hill. It's hilarious. Like this door, coming out this door, it's it's slippery in the mud and it's all downhill. Waiting for Jacob to come over. <laughs> Look, there's chocolate on the ground and eat Goku. I think Jacob's smarter than eating goat poop. No, I'm gonna get some in a bowl. Say, Jacob, you want some chocolate? Aw, oh, our little baby's calling. Every night we have to herd the duck and the goose. And it's honestly the most annoying part of life. Come on, get in there. Get in there. 
So if we come back and take the goose. I didn't think she could fit through that hole, but she does. Come on, babies. Lola, have your bottle. Lola, she's like, I don't want my Can bottle. Can you close like that her. door? She's gonna stay in here right now. Yeah, we're just gonna wait now because you never wanna interrupt her taking her bottle so that we can make sure she takes every bit of it. Sometimes she rips it out of my hand. See, when she gets distracted, she's like a four month old baby. Lola. If she sees anything that distracts her, poof, she's gone. See, that's what she does when it rips it out of my hand. Yeah, she's like, come on, nipple. So someone said that she's probably close to being done with her bottles. I figure she's like, what? She's still really small. She is still really small. I don't know how old she is. She's definitely not three months yet. Because our other goats were way, way bigger than her when we got them and they were 12 weeks. He's gigantic. Yeah, he does look gigantic. She's really tiny still. And we're probably gonna keep her up, keep up with the bottles through the winter just because she's growing and it helps us to keep her hydrated. Like giving her her bottles helps us to make sure that she's getting what she needs. So we're probably gonna keep doing it until probably March. Unless she wants to stop before then, but I doubt she will. Cause as you guys can see, she is in love with her milk. You're, you're done. <laughs> Gabby's doing grain. Bye, Gabby! <laughs> okay, let it be known that you cheated. Let it be known that we cheated. I'll wait for you. Uh, no. I'm wearing Crocs. At least let me put them in sports mode. <laughs> let her put them in sports mode. Yeah, wait. So I saw a comment the other day saying that we don't give our horses enough grain, which I think is absolutely bonkers. She didn't count as part of the race because she cheated. Sophia cheated. Know. I know. So we give our horses that are that need extra weight, like Storm, a performance grain and a vitamin feed, and he gets a lot. And any time our horses are like in a lot of work, they even get more performance feed. But our ponies and our horses that aren't in work, that don't need the extra calories, get a vitamin right, grain. Don't, don't grab me, don't grab me. <laughs> Wait, they let me have to turn out, close the doors. Where's my dog? Huh? Where's my dog? Ellie? Yeah, run. I can't run, I'm old. And when I say I'm old, you guys, I don't mean it in a bad way. I'm happy with my age. One thing, one thing I don't really care about is aging. All right, that's it. Oh no, Gabby, look. Look, it's a baby. It's a baby chicken. Help me get it, quick. I don't care about chicken. Just help me get it, I don't want it to die. Yeah, I don't care we didn't chicken. count them, hurry up and come and help me. No, <laughs> no she says, that was a joke. I was trying to get her to come back so I could win. <laughs> I'm not, a, I'm not a, against cheating when it comes to racing. Don't you know that you're beautiful?